I do remember him just, uh, you know, as a child, because I saw him after that too, when he'd come back and visit, and et cetera. But, you know, his uh, uh, close friend, you know, was George Niebank Sr. Oh, sure. And George Niebank Sr. Senior was Uncle George and Aunt Rose to, to me. I mean, they were my parents' very closest friends because my dad was uh, on the board of the old bank of Jamestown and on the board of the one of the two banks that they put together there that failed. You know, the bank holiday came and the, and George Niebank was the bank, young bank examiner from Niagara Falls at that time. And was sent in here to work on the Jamestown problems and what are we gonna figure out and what are we gonna do? And that particular thing, they put together that bank and raised a little more capital. I imagine it was very difficult to raise any because who had any? Sure. But they raised a little bit more. And uh, I'm not sure my dad, I know my dad was very much involved, but he was an original director mm -hmm. of what became the Bank of Jamestown and, and they uh, hired George Niebank to be the CEO of the new combined bank. And, uh, see, and, and so my dad and, and Niebank became, and, and Jackson was also a director. And he was also attorney for the bank, for the combined bank. And he was the attorney, I believe, for you know, making it all happen, whatever he had to do with the regulatory folks. And we have some letters to that effect. Yeah, I mean, I mean see, he played that role. In fact, he continued to be a director of the bank uh, even after he went to Washington for a while. I think he stayed on the board of the telephone company too. But I was saying uh, when he would come back, uh, I can remember him being in our house, Jackson. And uh, but I, you know, I, I can't remember him as being much fun. Mm -hmm. Very, very intense and very bright, mm -hmm. clearly, but kind of strict. Is, you know, children were meant to be uh, seen but not heard, you know, and that, that sort of thing. And, and George D. Bank was very much the same way. I mean, that was, that's just the way they were. And, but when, when the Jackson finally moved, really moved, sold his place in Jamestown, you know, really became part of the Washington scene, was going to be permanent, not just a, another client sort of thing. I can remember one conversation, that I, I, maybe I was a little bit old, seven or eight, or whatever, but I was old enough to remember this. I remember my father, whoever he was talking to at that time, said, well, that guy's a traitor. He's gone and cast his lot with the enemy. That being Roosevelt? Being Roosevelt and Company. Because all of them, uh, especially after he was in Washington, mm -hmm. not when he was in the Supreme Court, think it ever happened later, but for a few years there, I mean, he'd be up here uh, quite frequently because he had these board meetings to go to and so on, and there'd be some kind of family weekend affair, either at the Knee Banks or the Andersons or the Sportsman's Club. You go to the Sportsman's Club while he was, when he came back up here, was he, st he was still, a I know he was a member, but yeah. did he keep his membership? Well, they'd be, we would do one of those Sunday things. We right, did more I of that see. now, that, that back then than we do now. Right. Where, the, where families would be up here. Mm -hmm. And uh, and of course, another one that he stuck with was the Union Club. You familiar with that? Well, that's a, think of Union League in New York. This is the Union Club, which is defunct long since defunct. But in the hotel, Jamestown, they built up on the mezzanine on the second floor, a kind of a private club place for the, the the real movers and shakers of right. town and it was something that uh, nobody was supposed to know about right. and they go up and, and the unions thought that these guys would get together and sort of uh, agree on what they were and weren't going to do in the next round of negotiations and that kind of stuff so, which they didn't uh, it, it later on became kind of a social party kind of a thing, but for, for in its earlier days, these guys, when they could do it, that's where they went and had lunch. Right. And they'd play cards, but that's where they sort of talked about 
what's going on around town. And, and Jackson was part of that. 